What up, YouTube? Topaz Jay saying I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into the news. Then, we're going to jump into this review for this new Lloyd Banks mixtape that dropped. Then, we're going to jump into an article from DownLowPaz.com. Before then, listen to a brief instrumental from underground producer 730 Beats. So the Billboard chart dropped today, man, in which Fetty Wap climbed back up to number four overall with 42,000 units sold and such. And I'm really wondering why it dipped and then came right the fuck back, but that may be a question we never fucking know. But then DJ Khaled also debuted this week at 25,000 units sold, man, in which very interesting fucking week. But Anyway, on to today's review, and today's review is to that Lloyd Banks Halloween Havoc 2, in which this was, of course, a Halloween-themed project here, and it shows you that he was not talking bullshit in his damn interview that he had, where he was saying that he's going away from being a super punchline type of dude. Not saying that he doesn't have any punchlines or anything in here, because he does, and they're kind of decent, but yet, overall, he's nowhere near as prolific as he was in the past. What this comes off as is he's focusing more on creating more solid projects, man, than to being so super lyrical and such. And quite honestly, it works. Because this project is pretty damn consistent from beginning to end. Like, the songs that I really fuck with wasn't that far off from the other songs either, you did. My favorite songs off of this was that Angel Dust because of that energy that was attached to it. Nowadays, Money Over Matter, Feed the Strip Man, solid fucking tracks here, you dig? And the other tracks were pretty decent too, but here's the thing. This was consistently I. It wasn't consistently great. So therefore, this project really doesn't measure up with a lot of the competition that has been dropping this year, man. A lot of people have been dropping better music overall, even though... They may have only had like two, three great songs on this shit, but yet those two, three, I would take over this entire project. I think Lloyd Banks, as he continues down this path, he may ultimately give us a damn classic in such manner if he continues to get better, but right now where he's at, just I. Right. I give this project an overall 7 out of 10. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is based off of a quote that Jay-Z spit on Reasonable Doubt Man where you keep his head, both of them, where they're supposed to be. And what Jay-Z meant by that, man, is if you go around just fucking all of these chicks that you possibly can, you will get caught up in the fucking game over that shit. It's really better to remain focused, man, and not let these chicks really fuck up your mode and shit. Because I've experienced this recently. So, met a chick, pretty fucking beautiful, you dig, man. And she was nice as shit, so we sitting up talking and having fun and all of that shit. It took her all but a week to finally break down and tell me that she was pregnant. Which I was like, what? She told me she was 12 weeks pregnant and she got a restraining order against the baby daddy and all of that shit, man. And I'm like, I cannot be a part of this. Even though you fine as a motherfucker and you nice and shit, this is something that I cannot be fucked up with because I already know when he figures out that the next nigga is already with her and shit, that's gonna bring out certain emotions. And those certain emotions, I don't wanna kill a nigga over. I mean, I'd rather stick to the script, keep grinding, than get caught up in this shit because she's so not fucking worth it. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article. 